What's going on everybody? Good morning. Uh, Sandy here coming to you from Tucson. Uh, today it's probably, I don't know, it's got to be, it's got to be 92 degrees out here today. Uh, but feeling pretty good this morning. I wanted to try something a little different with my video today. Just because I think I'm getting, just because I think I'm stagnating a little bit. Um, with the home studio videos. And I don't think I really need that high quality audio, so we're gonna try a slightly different format today. I'm just gonna take a little stroll and talk to you all. So I hope you're all doing well out there. As always, I hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And uh, <clears throat> today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, frustration and how I've been feeling lately. Uh, and that is I've been feeling a little bit frustrated, uh, a little feeling like I'm not doing enough. And I've talked about this uh, before. Hopefully there's not a ton of wind in the microphone, but oh well. Um, but I think as a musician and as a, as a creator and a person, a person who I, uh oh. As a person who identifies as a creator and a person that whose identity is kind of wrapped up in that, you know, as a part of me. Uh, it feels like if I'm not creating and I'm not putting out material, content, I'm not really a real person. And to do all this, it requires a lot of time. A lot of time, a lot of energy, and um, my frustration lately has been more like my lack of time and it's summer now. My buddy Mo is visiting from uh, the Bay Area. Uh, we've been having a we've been having a really great time together, and uh, it's been a blast. But I have been uh, have been a little bit frustrated because I feel like when he's here, uh, like I should be devoting my time and energy to him, and that's reasonable, and I think it's true. Um, so. I guess this video, as a, in terms of a, as an opposite to the frustration that I've been feeling, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I think what I really need to practice is patience. Because I think in this society, uh, in this social media world where we have all these pressures put on us and we put pressures on ourselves, we want everything right now. We want it all right away, ASAP. And we are, we kind of sometimes I think expect ourselves to be machines. Um, take my shades off here. Got my tank on, I'm getting a little, little vitamin D out here. And it actually feels pretty damn nice. So, so I wanted to just say that I think uh, the answer to frustration and feeling like things are never enough, the way to overcome it by practicing patience with your soul. Practicing being, by practicing being, it's by practicing being more patient with yourself. Uh, and I really need to do this because these things take time. And for me, with music, I feel there's a voice inside me that says, that it's never enough, that it's never good enough, that I'm not putting out enough. And those expectations are stifling, I think. And um, and negative, it's a negative way to spend your time and energy feeling bad about how you're not doing enough and how you need to do more. So the answer to being frustrated and overwhelmed and feeling like nothing is ever enough is to be more patient with yourself. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I think we all need meditation. I've been doing some guided meditation on YouTube. I say I've been doing and I've only done it twice. Uh, but the two times I've done it, I just did one before I shot this video. It feels really good. Um, there's really a lot of positive affirmations. There's a lot of good stuff on YouTube. And to take that time with your mind, to quiet those thoughts that can be negative and uh, 
self-deprecating and waste your time and energy is huge, especially for, for me, I think, but I really think for everybody. So meditation, let's do more of that. It's also practice being more patient with ourselves. We don't, we're not gonna get everything now right away. And sometimes these high expectations we set for ourselves are, are too much. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I think that's really what I wanted. That's all I wanted to say today. I mean, in the meantime, in the meantime, I wanted to let you all know that uh, I am going to be headed up north next week, a week from today, I'm going to see my sister in San Diego, and from there I'm headed up to Sebastopol. Um, it's going to be. It should be a really good time seeing my mom and spending some time with my dad. And I'm sad to leave this place and my house and all my music stuff, but uh, I gotta go and spend some time with my family. So anyway, that's what I'm thinking about today. Battling frustration with patience, meditation, and uh, focusing on the breath and what you can control and what is possible for you, as opposed to trying to be Superman. Stop doing that. Can't do it all. Uh, and lastly, I'm just gonna do one more block. I feel like this walking video shouldn't be splice and dice so much, but it, I think it will be. Um, Last but not least, it's battling patience with frustration. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember now. So I think that a lot of my despair, a lot of my frustration comes from social media. And I've talked about this before. I've talked about this before on this channel. Um, I think social media can be a really negative uh, energy drain especially for me because I compare myself to other people so much and I never feel like I'm doing enough and I'm fearful that I have all these negative thoughts about myself in comparison to others who seem like they're doing more even people who are my really good friends I get jealous and angry and frustrated so quite honestly for me it's easier said than done, but I need to uh, I need to get off social media unless I'm posting something or creating. I, I shouldn't be scrolling through it and liking stuff. It's just such a it's just hard to do because it feels like that's where everybody is and that's where everybody's living these days. Uh, but certainly, to wake up in the morning and hop on Instagram and Facebook right away and look at stuff and immediately wonder if you're doing enough or compare yourself to your friends and family and others it's a bad way to spend your time so uh, anyway I hope you're all doing well buy for ocean 10 tree stuff care for the environment as best you can and uh, take good care of yourself do some kind of meditation and uh, get a hold of those negative thoughts that you have in your mind and maybe lower your expectations a little bit to a reasonable level uh, anyways until next week, I hope you're all doing well. Hope this video finds you happy, healthy, and humble. And next week I'll be in San Diego probably. Unless I record it before I go. But you'll find out either way. Take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Peace, everybody.